Hey, hey guys. Hey, it's Friday. It's Friday. I'm so excited. Do, are y'all like, it's like, what day is it? It just all kind of blends in together. Sometimes. Uh, but guess what? Today we're going to be going over all things ombre. Look at this. So we want to be able to show you different colors. Um, Michelle had a great idea as far as right before we went live, as far as taking reds and yellows, mm -hmm. being able to kind of make it look like mm -hmm. a sunset. But we are going to show you how to use not only the ceramic paints, the gel inks, the chalk arts, to be able to create gorgeous ombre effects and really just kind of take things to the next level. So we've chosen a lot of different color palettes for you. We're going to show you how to do it. It's so, Absolutely. so easy, it's guys, so if you've easy. never done it before. And here's the thing. We want you to be thinking outside of the box as far as not just doing, doing the same thing. You get kind of nervous as far as pushing things outside of the box. Mm -hmm. But after you've used the stencils and after you've done this a couple of times, it's easy peasy. And it's so fun. It's fun so and fun. it looks great. Hey, Roberta from Bay City, Michigan. How much how much snow I, have you gotten? I bet they have a lot. I saw where people were getting like three feet of snow. It's ridiculous. That's nuts. That's yes. It's pretty. It's nice here. It's a little cold. It is, but you know what? It's warmer today than it has been this week. Yeah, it has. It's been kind of cold. We're coming to you live from Memphis, Tennessee. My name is Amy, and, and I'm this Michelle. Is Michelle, and we are going to do all things ombre today. So we're teaching you more of a technique that you can learn that will really take your um, hombre, hombre. <laughs> we wrote down hombre. We did? We're gonna have to change that. Marty, help, change, hombre, hombre. <laughs> so, um, okay guys. So we're gonna show you uh, just several different examples of hombre. I Absolutely. loved this. Mm -hmm. Hey Dawn. That is your three shades of pink. Yeah, so let's show them. We have this Be Mine a, on top. Okay. Hey, y'all, right? No, all y'all. All y'all. All y'all, not hey, all y'all. All y'all. And then Curbside Shopper on the bottom, which is the hot pink. It's so pretty. I, I'm just going to say, this is so silly. Um, hey, Lisa from sunny California. It's cold here, but <laughs> it's still California, girl. That's, right? that's the best. Um, so... Just thinking about the names, I, I, I go into these crazy places. <laughs> I had the best time when I was naming those. And it's like, who who's watching today that you're like, I am a curbside shopper. Love that. I've, I've talked about being a curbside shopper forever. Okay. I'm not so, even watching, but I'm a curbside shopper. <laughs> I'm also a dumpster diver. No, curbside shopper sounds so much better than But you. I will literally dive in the dumpster to get it, so I really can own that. <laughs> but you still call yourself a curbside shopper. So it just more sounds classy. it sounds much more classy. All right, so we're gonna show you on several different projects how to do this. And guess what? If you share this video and you tag three friends, your name goes in for a drawing that we're going to be sending you an ombre to be able to create an ombre of Three of these chalk arts are those. I, I adore these kind of loud like colors. That is your favorite. Little really, really pretty. Right but there. I also love salmons. I love blues. I love all of them. They're just so much fun. This, I think, is just so it's happy. Gorgeous. Look at this. Is that just so happy? All right. So we are going to show you just how easy it is and also some color <laughs> combinations. So that way you may already have some of these at home. Absolutely. Or maybe you're like, I love those. I don't have those. I need those. Mm -hmm. So these are fun, fresh colors that you can use for um, a new year. We Absolutely. are really looking forward to 2021. We just want it to start. Yes. <laughs> we want a new calendar. <laughs> we want it. We want we want January. So um, we're going to enjoy Christmas and the holidays and all that has to offer. Absolutely. But we're just looking at all the things that we're going to be able to do come January. All right. So we're going to turn this down. And so as you pop on, say hey. Hey, thank you for sharing. Sharing is caring, Jane. That's um, right. So thank you for doing that. And your name will go in for the drawing. So a lucky, lucky, who knows who may be the lucky winner. Okay. So, um, all right. So we're going to turn this down just a little bit, so that way we can show you what it is that we're working on. Um, you know, 
this is the example that we're showing you on all these are a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. So this is one, what are we gonna show them first? This is actually just a combination. Those of you, if you weren't watching the other day when we introduced our brand new metallic inks. They're so pretty. This is using the gold and the copper. Can you see what that looks like? Look at that. So that's a variance as far as looking more ombre. Yes, and we wanted you to see the difference. So this is actually the chalk art from gold to um, metallic copper. And you can use chalk art on Paper. paper. A Absolutely. lot of people don't realize that. You can use it on a painted surface like this. And the cool so thing about it this. is um, we do have a new matte sealer at Amy oh, Howard at Home that is perfect. It's amazing. Are there any over there? Can I just show yes. you? Yes. All right, so yes. I do want to say this. And I, it's so weird. Why I, You could hear me, but I just have this thing like I feel like I'm supposed to look at you when I'm talking to you. <laughs> um, so a lot of people have asked, if, if I make a beautiful chalkboard like this or a piece of art or maybe if I use it on a piece of furniture. Right. Like, how do I leave it to where I, I can enjoy it like this? Then you want to seal it. The chalk art does need to be sealed. So this is a brand new matte sealer. This is from Amy Howard at Home. And it's, it's amazing. It's completely matte. So it's, we do recommend rolling it on here instead of brushing it. Right, the with brush a foam mark, roller. Yes, use a Not foam roller. The, this one. So, and then that way it will make all your gorgeous chalk art boards that you want to be able to leave like this, maybe put on an easel or hang in your kitchen or your bathroom or whatever because you love the way it looks. Use this foam roller and this matte sealer and then that way roll over it and it will you it will go away and you will not see it at all and but it it's stays. protected it's and awesome i would do two coats just yes. because but and you, no brush marks um it has no vocs and it is completely dead flat matte it's fabulous it's your new best it's friend amazing all right so so let's so turn pretty. this around we're gonna turn this down so pop, as you come on say hi say hi and then we're going to be able to um, just show you some color combos. So this was with the copper and the gold. That is an, a great ombre look. So Michelle, you may have to come up here just a little first. bit. Sure. Okay. Let me move this aside. So this was our mandala stencil. And it is three colors. So in the center is If the Creek Don't Rise. And then Hey Y'all. And then the navy, which I cannot read. Hush your mouth. Having fun. Mouth. I had fun again. <laughs> we do say those. Who, we do. Who right? Got, who says that? Do you tell your children, hush your mouth? We never. Um, sorry, I have to look at them again. <laughs> I think we've had this discussion on here before. Who grew up to where if you said the, the S U word, that you were in trouble? It was a curse word. I grew up that way. We totally never. Grew up that way. We never. Now, it's funny. Now, some people will go, shut up, like right, that. Right, right. But to say the word, shut up. To actually tell someone was to do so. horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. So, my mother would always say, shut your mouth. <laughs> shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. Like, that's not, that's not ladylike. That's unacceptable. Shut your mouth. So, um. We love right. mom. So, right? yes, of course. I saw somebody post, it was so funny, the, the other day. They were like, <laughs> I've become my mother. It's like, tuck your shirt in and put your coat on. It's like, right. oh my gosh, I've become my mother. We start saying things that they said to us. But so the blues that we're showing you that um, on this mandala stencil, that's why it, you can remember that as far as if the creek don't rise is what we started with. Mm -hmm. And then we, we gradually went into, hey, y'all, and then shut your mouth. So that way, it takes you to this really pretty teal all the way into so the navy. Pretty. All right, so let's turn this down. So um, let me see. Hush your mouth. Hush, hush of harm. Hush of harm was huh. my mom's. Huh, I don't know that I've ever heard that. What was some, and I, this will be fun. I love this. Um, what was something that your mom said to you growing up? What was something that it was like, something like this, like, hush your mouth, or... My mom. 
Now you were from New Mexico. New Mexico. Mm -hmm. My mom. <laughs> so Kirk and I used to have our little pity parties, and she'd go, "Oh, the violin, world's <laughs> or smallest violin." Or she would say, "My heart bleeds green blood for you." What does that mean? I have no idea. That was her way of saying, like, you know, like bless her heart. She'd be like, oh, poor pity party. My heart bleeds green blood for you. It's so bad it's bleeding green blood. And I don't know where it came from, but I've heard it my entire life. I don't know. What's something, what's something, um, what's something <laughs> right, that your, your mom said to you? Exactly why I was like, mom, what is Yeah, that never mean? heard that. She's like, you're having a pity party. So okay. somebody else, hey, Jill, hey, Brooke. Um, it's close. Um, hey, Diane. So just tell us on here... Um, something that your mom said to you that you remember and do you say, okay, now look at this. This is really weird. See how I put my, my hand on my face and my mother would always, I used to kind of get, um, for the love of Mike. I've never what heard that. that. For the love of Mike. Who's Mike? Jean, what was something that your mama said to you? <laughs> oh, my daughter is Fred here. Goes, and sit up straight. <laughs> Did y'all ever tell your kids sit up straight? Put your shoulders back. Sit up straight. Oh my gosh, I'm such a terrible mom. For my own, for my, for my oldest daughter to be here, going from the mouth Sit up of straight. babes. Yes. So guilty. That's one thing I said. Oh, um, I'm sure. Oh, I've failed so miserably as a mother. Um, so anyway, but yeah, sit up straight. Do you sit up straight still? She turned out okay. <laughs> okay, y'all are like quit. Talking. Hush your mouth and do the project <laughs> so we can learn how to do it. All right, so here's the three colors that Michelle's working with, and we're going to um, do this on a tea towel. These tea towels you can get on Amazon. Mm -hmm. You can also go to Walmart right now yep. and keep your hands to yourself. Yes. I say that 8,000 times a day. I'm not yourself. touching her. I'm not touching her. Especially do it with COVID. Keep no, your hands to yourself. my kids. Ooh. All right, so <laughs> here we go. Stop hitting your sister. I'm not touching her. All right, okay. so let's move that up so we'll just try. a little bit it's so that way stuck. people can see. <laughs> All right, friends. I have the mandala halfway. I don't know if you can see that. You can put the whole thing on there. I just like kind of did it halfway. I like it halfway. So it almost does this, like, burst. If and I I'm just working this, on the opposite side of the one I already did. So that way we can... Can they see that? I don't know. Can you guys see the... Kind of. Yeah, This is kind of edge. what we're talking about All right. as far as so that way you can see. <clears throat> And I've got just a little piece of, I just, we've got little glass coasters that we use. And I just stick this out there. I'm squeezing a little bit of each color. So I have them here to work with. I'll show them that really quickly. Absolutely. So that way you can kind of see can you kind of see the various as far as going from the lightest to the darkest? It's the way you want to be able to do it, as mm -hmm. a rule. Guys, as you pop on here, um, welcome. Thank you. We're so glad that you caught us live. And if you share this video on your Facebook page and tag three friends, your name goes in for a drawing that we're going to be sending out some uh, three chalk arts to the lucky winner. Yay. Um, as we are doing ombre today. So... Now, as a rule, you know, when we talk about percentages, let's give somebody a, just kind of an idea. Would we want to do this in equal thirds? Does it matter? So, okay, in my practice, I typically go out just a little bit more than a third because I want to blend that middle section. Yeah. So it always goes in, I'm going to work from light out to the center, then I'm going to work this center section, but then I'm going to take the navy and I'm going to bring it in this way because I want it to blend here without mushing it into my dark navy up here at the top. So I usually do just a little bit more than a third um, because I want it to have blending space right there in that center section. I'm really struggling because I want to use some uh, metallic, but I'm going to stay away from so that. I'm so tempted. Yes. To, so yes. Here's, here were my thoughts before I did this. Um, I would love to see this done where we added silver to every one of these colors. That would be so fun. It would be gorgeous. So you see I'm working the center section and I'm not really blending it with the lighter section yet. I just want to get it on here because I do want there to be a definitive turquoise right here in the middle. 
These are pretty, those are happy colors too. They are, and they're my colors. So like these are the colors in my kitchen. Mints, turquoise, teals. So it they're just favorites of Michelle's personally. <laughs> and Amy let me make what I wanted. So <laughs> that's what you get, friends. I love doing, um, if you're just now popping on, I'll show you as Michelle's working on that. I love this. I just think it's really happy. The and I pinks. do believe it could go in almost any decor. Yes. Um, the colors that we used, this is Be Mine, which I'll show you this. This is the Be Mine. And then All Y'all. And the second color we did was All Y'all. And then Curbside. And then Curbside Chopper. So as you're popping on, we are going over ombre today and just how fun and easy and how it can make a major difference when you're working with your, whether you're doing gel ink, whether you're doing chalk art, whether you're doing ceramic paint, you can use any of the, the products, depending on what surface and what you're doing in order to be able to create this. And it really, um, now see the negative space that Michelle has here? Can y'all see that? It's kind of got a white line in between each of my colors because I haven't quite blended yet because I want to work in from this outer edge. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to wipe off my, and I'm just going to start blending. Oh, I got gold on it. That's not what I wanted. Let me get a clean one. <clears throat> so what I'm doing is I have my blue and my, my two blues together and I'm just kind of blending them a tiny bit in between each other on my surface and then mixing them on the towel. So guys, we're working on ombre. If you haven't done this, you need to. It's too easy. It's too fun. It's very satisfying. It really is. And it really takes your projects to, to the, the next, next level. level. Absolutely. And you can't mess it up. Mm -mm. It's fun. What we wanted to be able to do is kind of give you some ideas on um, colors that kind of went together. So that you can feel confident. And, and then the, the sky's the limit, the limit, you know, when you get comfortable with blending. I'm going to pull this just a little bit. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to get a clean one since I got gold on that last one. And I'm going to work this inside edge up into the darker green. So again, I'm going to get just a little bit of that darker green with the lighter green and work this section. blending here. And I like to take it a little, like both directions. So I'm getting some good blend. I'm just over here playing. All right, friends, you ready to peel this beautiful thing off? Here we go. Drum roll, please. If only I knew how. <laughs> Ta-da! And I didn't get it stuck to Amy's face in the process, y'all. Show them. Let's show them the stencil. So can you see how it was blended going from the teal into the navy into that color from the middle value color into the dark navy? See how it's kind of blended like that? Isn't that cool? It's really pretty. It's really, really pretty. Like we could dye the stencil. <laughs> yeah. That would be fun. No, and here's something, um, so that just kind of lets you see as far as both of these. Now, I'm gonna tell you something else. A lot of people may not know that you can do this. You can take the one-step paint mm -hmm. and you can thin it with water and make a color bath We've taught them this before. They can go back and watch it. We we did the tea towels. We ombre them, remember? Yes, but I'm just saying what would be really pretty 
is that you can you could come back and after. after. Yes. And do an ombre effect or even just dye this towel. Mm. Kind of that medium value would be really, really pretty. It would be beautiful. So pretty. Really pretty. Um, you know, and the cool thing about it is a white pair of jeans. You could take a white pair of jeans and do this on pattern. The bottom or even I would on go the thigh. all the way up one leg. Mm. I would just do it on a side and go all the way up one leg. That would be amazing. And that would be really, really pretty. Love it that. would be pretty. So anyway, so we're all about ombre today, guys, what we're showing you. Yes. So now we're going to go. Is that that was, wet one? Pardon me? Is that the wet side? I don't know. <laughs> we don't even know. I'm going to lay it over here to dry. Amy, what are so, you playing with? Do what? I said, what are you playing with? I was just working with the copper and the gold. Thank you, Jane. Thank you. We think it's, it's beautiful, too. Hey, Cheryl, how's it going, girl? So this was just a combo of using the copper and mm. gold to be able to create more of an ombre look. It's oh, guys, it really look at that. So pretty, isn't that beautiful? Trying to hold that, but it really it, it takes it to a whole new level. New level. All right, so let's also show them. Let's get it on a on a whiteboard. We want to be able to show it. Maybe it's. It's a little bit easier to tell when you can see the colors on white. Yes. So we're going to do this one. We're going to turn this down. Do you mind working backwards? No. So that way they can kind of see. We want darker on the bottom and lighter on the top. I okay. would. Okay, what guys. Colors do we, do we want to use the purple, Amy? Do we want to use the lilac? I. Or do you want to use blues or the pinks? What do you think? Let's do the lilacs. Okay. Do y'all do y'all like lilac? Or would you would you rather see the lilac? Thank you, Theo. Theo just is going. Hey, He's a sound effect. Nobody is talking to me. <laughs> my mother and my daddy are up here. Jean is getting Working. ready to show everybody um, how to fix furniture where the veneer has popped off. And so, uh, okay. So Brett loves lilac. Look at this. Look at this. I know they're so pretty. This is so happy. This is very regal. Now, I have done this before, and I love coming back and adding a little bit of gold leaf on it. Don't right. forget. I mean, we have right. purple, please. Okay, Jane, ask. Um, Jane, ask. Uh, it was purple, please. I like that. It's just, we have to do you the purple now. You might just made a new name. Purple, please. <laughs> purple, please. Um, <laughs> I, would, I would talk to Theo. Um, we, we talk to him all day long. We talk to long. him all the time. Hey, Theo, come here, buddy. Do you want to come say hi? Okay. True story. I don't know if y'all know this, but last Friday, Theo got the <laughs> cone of shame because he'd been licking his leg and it got infected. And so we kept putting all this medicine on it and the, the, um, the veterinarian said, you're going to have to put the cone of shame on him. <laughs> so it really changed his personality. He was so depressed. Okay, Roberta, we're doing Lila. So he got so depressed. Well, so last night we took him home. He's there with our other two Cavalier King Charles. And we walk in, <laughs> and Brooke, who, who would you get it? would you get the cone of shame? I'm going to show you what the cone of shame look like. So the two little bitty dogs, <laughs> and then Theo is standing there, jumping up all over us. The cone of shame was off of him. Our <laughs> little dog freed him. Our little dog freed him, as Michelle said. He, it was like, no, what is going on here? I the kids, this morning. The kids like, were playing and they just went nuts. And <laughs> so um, we were like, how did this happen? How did he chew this off? Jean goes, there's no way that dog chewed that off. The girls Racy did. Racy chewed it off. Look, so look at this. Here's the cone of shame. Look at this. She broke the plastic. Like, Look at this. Now this is a little, uh, a little dog. She's less totally than 20 pounds, right? Yes, <laughs> ripped the cone of shame off Theo. Look at that. Is that wild? And she he was free. her brother. <laughs> so anyway, it was hilarious. Hilarious. I right. love him. So we're doing lilac. Um, he, smart dog. Yes, he had to save his buddy. <laughs> That's what Brooke said. She's like, they're sticking together. And um, so anyway, we, we're watching him. And he, if he behaves, we're going to leave the cone of shame off. Otherwise, so, you got to go get a new one. Yeah, really. <laughs> so funny. Okay, so we're going to show you with these lilac colors. 
Um, we're gonna go from. Well, I declare. To what is that one? Fancy pants. Ooh, fancy pants. And. Pee picking hard. Pee picking hard. I want to know the other things, guys. Is if you're just now popping on, please. We we love that you're watching, and then. Share this video and tag three friends and your name will go in for a drawing that we're going to send you these lilac chalk arts and you're going to be able to do this. Now, as a rule, um, you might not do it on white, but we thought this would be a really easy way for you to be able to see, see it. what it is that we're doing and just how easy um, doing more of an ombre effect is. You can do it with the inks, you can do it with the chalk art, you can do it with the ceramic paints on any surface that you're working on. And it really takes your, your designs and your crafting to a whole new level. So we talked about, do, we, do you do it in thirds? Do you do it, it's up to you. Mm -hmm. um, now, normally you're seeing at the bottom of it, you wanna start with your darkest color. Yep. Your, your darkest color is going to visually anchor it. So, in these three, um, that was our darkest color. Now we're going into our medium value color. And the cool thing about it is these come this way. Yep. We added you don't have these, to figure it out. No. We added these colors on purpose because we wanted you to be able to create a lot of these different looks, like this one, that they're already done together. So, they're really, really easy. If you guys are watching, I'm not making a definitive line. Yeah, so look at this. See this negative space? That negative space is staying that way, so it's going to be easier for her to be able to blend it. I'm actually going to blend it right now. So with chalk is a little bit different than my gel, um, because gel, of course, I have a little bit more time. I don't want chalk. It's going to dry. Yeah. I want them to blend while they're wet. You do have to, so you do I have have to do this quickly. Yep. I had one with the dark purple. And I have one with the lighter. See, it's already starting to dry. Mm -hmm. And we gotta, we're gonna have to take it off. Yep, we can peel and let it sit back on there. Isn't that pretty? <gasps> okay. Yes, so pretty. All right, so keep on marking. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold this up. So you can't let the chalk art sit with the mesh for too long because it literally will just kind of dry. So this one, I'm actually gonna work here and go back this way and I'll just blend it straight into that medium gray purple. That if I, I was doing this on a piece of furniture. Yes. Or a, a board like this, a piece of art, I would, I'm totally gonna come back and put some gold leaf on this. Yes. Gold leaf would be so fab, guys, with this lilac com combo. Love that y'all chose this, thank you. So cute. I could have played a little bit more there and blended those a little bit tighter. You see that? Is that the cutest? So see, we started. That's our darker color. And then going lighter. Going lighter. Isn't that fun? It's kind of hard for you to be able to see. As far as going all the way to the lightest. Love that. Hey. That turned out so pretty. Totally, we need to come back Purple and add. Purple is totally the color to use. Yes, it it's was. Pretty. So we could come back and we can fill in. Mm -hmm. um, oh, you know what would be really good? What are you thinking? I know. I know. It's a One stencil. More surprise. We haven't we released to you yet. We can't bust so it out. So there is a gorgeous border. I'm just going to show you. Real it's quick. coming. It's coming. It's but I'm coming. Show you. We don't have we don't have it out there yet, but it is coming. Yeah, later. So this is it. <clears throat> So later, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, gonna take it. this border and I'm gonna run it all the way here on either side and then come around and probably love I'm 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 loving just talking about this and what I would what I would do. She's getting sided, y'all. But I would gild the side in gold. Yes. That would frame it. Um, and we have several videos as far as how to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. So is so there a, pretty. should we show them one more thing on a plate? Sure. As far as creating With ceramic all paints. things ombre. With ceramic paint. So we've done gel ink. We've done Amy, chalk art. Can you hand me your little glass plate over there? This one? No, nope, that one. I gave you another one. Got it. And then the gel, the ceramic paints are over there too. So you're going to want an artist brush. Oh. Uh, plate. There it is. I was like, wait, I have another new plate. I have a fresh one. So what I did here is I 
I liked my stencil. I like my square as a diamond instead of like this. That was just my personal preference. Okay. I, wanted, I did <clears throat> want to show them. Mm, yeah. I did want to show you this as far as because we were working with several of the chalk arts because I do love these chalk arts. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't, we don't show you this enough because I, I really do love it. But this is, uh, these are three blues that are already go together great. This is cute as a button and this is water to my ocean, one of my faves, and then so on and so forth. So that way, look at those blues. Sorry, Michelle. It's okay. These look really great together too. I just don't want you to get your sweater in the ceramic paint. That's okay. May not come off. I, now, I'm... I'm wondering, should we darken or lighten so we have a little bit difference in value? We could. When it dried down, yeah. the green overpowered the blue a little yeah, bit. it did. So it's not as ombre as I would like it to be. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'd like to see it go maybe, so why don't we mix a little bit lighter color? Like a, on the blue end or the green end? The blue end, like yep. a white? Yep. Okay. Yep, not totally, but just a little bit. I just knocked all of our ceramic paints down. <laughs> okay, great. I'll clean that up right later. <laughs> so that way you're seeing as far as being able to create kind of an ombre look. And this is just an artist brush. Just kind of let you see. Guys, so as you as you come on and you're, you're catching us live, be sure Share this video, sharing is caring. And then that way your name will go in for a drawing for um, the three chalk arts that we are going Yay. to send absolutely free to the winner that their name is drawn. So thank you so much. Blue. We will have to make it dark enough so it shows up. I know, that's why I keep stealing some over here. I so the cool white. thing is these, you know, whether you're using a plate from the Dollar Tree or um, a glass tile that these are coasters and you can clean these off just wipe them off and mm -hmm. then that way you've got them to be able to work with but you can just get a plate at the Dollar Tree and use that and use that mm -hmm. sometimes you don't want to use like a paper plate chinette that's a no-no because it's going to absorb it you need something that can act literally as like an artist palette and and blend them are we liking that I am yeah, yeah. Do you see now do you see it so then this is, we're doing the ceramic paint as far as for our plate. So this is gonna be our lightest value color. Mm -hmm. We'll go into this one, uh -huh. which and is, then is smoke gets in my eyes. Smoke gets in my eyes. And then we'll go on into green with the green, envy. green with envy. Okay. So we're gonna blend them. So I'm gonna start down here because of, and I did go darker to lighter on this one. It was just my personal preference. I could have gone the other direction. Yeah, because you're just now telling them exactly. I said go start dark first I know, and then go light. I already did it. Okay. <laughs> Like Usually, so you do it. want to use your darkest color at the bottom at the because bottom. it visually anchors it. It anchors it. So don't don't do what we're showing you. You want to do it the other way from an artistic standpoint. So what I did is just got the actual smoke gets in my eyes this time, and I didn't um, add the white to it. But I am using the same brush. And you can't, if you work quickly, you can use the brush with the ceramic mm -hmm. paint. So this is a little bit of green with envy added in with smoke gets in your eyes. Isn't that pretty? Such a pretty color. And now it's we're very happy. Go to the green. The Come other back. thing is too, um, with your ceramic paint, you need to make sure that you allow this to dry a couple of days. Mm -hmm. And then if you want to, this is the no bake. You don't have to bake it, but I will just tell you, if you want it to wear really well, you can bake it. Absolutely. So you still can. And then, um, but we're saying you don't have to. But do not put this in a dishwasher. Let's show them really quickly. So that way, can you see it? It allows you to be able to just kind of see. It goes from that lighter value mm -hmm. to the dark. Really pretty, Michelle. Love those. And then we're going to peel it off. Very nice. Love that. Yes. Look at this. Do you love that? Guys, see how doing the, the ombre, that's it's so major. Pretty. It it's, changes everything. It really does. So instead of just doing one color or just doing this, guys, really, it's it's taking it to a whole new level. It is. It's such depth. Now, this is one that we had done earlier, and so it just, 
I, I didn't see the gradation as much. No, I didn't. Like I said, it was when it dried, they dry a little darker and I didn't give, yeah. um, I didn't Ooh. give grace for that. <laughs> Love it. I am loving this. I'm loving this. So, um, it really just kind of shows you something that is so simple as blending those colors changes make a, everything. Makes a major difference. Huge difference. So, whether you're even doing a a monogram, mm -hmm. you can do monogram towels. You can, uh, you know, a lot of people they forget, especially like with little girls. My girls, I monogrammed everything. I bet you did. So I had, um, I mean, there's sheets. Their pillowcases, their yes. everything was all monogrammed. Um, espadrilles, cloth espadrilles are coming back in style. So that way, monogram little shoes. You can monogram your shoes with the fabric ink. Oh, yeah. And mugs, anything like this, and doing it in this ombre effect. I just think it takes it to a whole new level. Mm -hmm. So the, the world is your oyster. When you are creating, you can do anything. There are no rules. So that way, to be able to create something as beautiful as this by just blending your colors and hopefully today showing you the variations um, and things that we've already put together that you don't have to mix them, um, just shows you how gorgeous they can be. Whether it is the lilacs, um, the blues, the um, working Peaches. with your copper and your gold, all of it. Gosh, I mean, does that make you happy? That makes me think of spring. Yes. Can I say that? I'm ready for Peach. spring. So um, anyway, thank you for sharing this video. Your name will go in for the drawing. And we do this, guys, we do this every time we do a Facebook Live. We give away product. So we think that makes it a lot more fun. Absolutely. And Everybody needs product. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so anyway, let's do this. And so if you are not part of our Facebook group, that's all about enjoying the bragging rights. It's called Crafting a Beautiful Life. That way we want you to go on there and show us what you created too. Absolutely. It'll be a lot of fun. Have a great weekend, everybody. Stay safe. Enjoy this time of hibernating. That way we can be safe and healthy. Love you guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.